You will know about the unprecedented rains and flooding situation in Pakistan this summer. Uh, Kinsan was quick to respond with your generous support. Uh, we were able to help uh, thousands of families with uh, uh, primary health care, uh, cash assistance to enable the families uh, to buy food, uh, dry ration and other critical needs uh, that they need for their daily routine. Uh, Concern is building up its response uh, given the uh, enormous scale of the crisis. Uh, the population in need are huge. Uh, taking the opportunity, we would like to thank you for your generous and continued assistance and would encourage you to continue uh, supporting Concern work uh, so that we can uh, reach uh, to uh, many more families in need across the country. Hello from Masabit, Kenya, where the terrible drought we are experiencing has killed much of the livestock, upon which uh, communities here rely upon for food and income. At Concern, we have a, a, very, uh, a very dedicated team and some amazing local partners. And thanks to our supporters, we've reached over 250,000 individuals with emergency relief. We are supporting thousands of families with uh, cash transfer via mobile app. We are providing livestock uh, feed and uh, also vet and veterinary services, reaching over half a million animals. We are undertaking uh, water systems rehabilitation and providing uh, clean water using trucks, reaching over 100,000 uh, individuals. Our health and nutrition colleagues are providing holistic uh, health services across the uh, remote areas using mobile clinics in the 90 sites that are spread across the worst drought affected areas. This is literally life saving. I'm very much proud of who, the work we are doing, and my heartfelt gratitude goes to our, our concerned donors for their ongoing support. Thank you. We're here in Poltava in eastern Ukraine. We're concerned along with its alliance partners, Veltunga Hilfa and Chesvi, are supporting local partners to deliver life-saving food, non-food kits and cash assistance to people in this part of the country. Temperatures are dropping and real winter is coming and the programme will support 130,000 vulnerable people through the winter months. We're on the ground since April and we've established a very firm presence in both the west of the country and in the east of the country and we're working flat out with our partners and we are delivering. This week, we are dispatching ready to eat food kits to the newly deoccupied city of Kherson and its environs. And we're able to do this because we are here. The 8 million internally displaced and vulnerable people in Ukraine, they face uncertainty, they face fear, and now they face the cold, but they're not facing it alone. Thank you for your support.